Previously on Taverns and Caverns, after a hard fat battle, we head up the stairs and into the next area of the filtration area. We knock out a dwarf guard and gag him and stomp him. After we shove him into an empty barrel, we proceed to cross the bridges. No more climbs over the wall. As the others try to cross the metal bridge, a water element though shows up and tries to drown Isundra and Damien. Isundra uses sphere on the elemental to get out of its grasp. Nomo cleaves the elemental and kills it. We continue to the facility, episode 52, Fortress of Bruise, part four. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Taverns and Caverns. This is your dungeon master, Haphazard DM. And last time on TNC, the party had found themselves whacking out one of the Arcane Delights brewery workers while in a questionable room with several graded bridges that soon turn into a water elemental type thing where the party had to do battle with it. And I had to play as Eddie R. Uh, Julian was unable to join us last session, but Julian is back for this session. Welcome back, Julian. I hope uh, I played Eddie R. fairly well. I hope uh, the, our uh, listeners enjoyed my version of Eddie R. <laughs> but uh, we're going to go ahead and pick up Exactly where we left off. Camros had peeked into the door leading into the next room. In the last episode, it and uh, it ended with Camros saying, "Oh shit!" So it was a, quite a cliffhanger. You're not sure exactly what's in the next room, but Camros he is in front of the party, and he's peeking into this into this room, uh, kind of opening this wooden door. He just has it slightly opened as he's, you know pushing his head and his face up against it. And he slowly looks over his shoulder at the rest of you. And he kind of just whispers lightly. Hey, I don't know about you guys, but this next room is kind of all out of whack. Uh, I would suggest you uh, watch your step and don't touch anything. It's pretty disgusting in there. Uh, I can't, I can't see everything in there. I just see a bunch of liquid on the ground and what seems to be a weird a weird table in the center of the room. Uh, the way I have the door cracked, I can't see the entire room. I don't know if there's anyone in there. It doesn't look like there is. But the, the, the tables or whatever there's in the center of this room, there's, it looks like blood splatters everywhere. I don't like how it looks. Are you sure it's blood? Uh, it's hard to tell. It's, it's pretty dark in there. There's a few torches lighting the room, but it's a pretty darkened room. Nothing like the one we're in now. And, and the torches are in. They're all just you know, normal torches. They're not magically made light bulbs like in the current room we're in <laughs> um i have a lantern he can use unless he has a lantern he's also a rogue right uh, i do have the cantrip to cast some light you know if need be but i don't want to cause any any trouble or have someone you know see us i don't know if there's anyone in there but well, we're still taking a risk if we can't see what we're walking into dude I mean, that's true, but I don't know if I want to see what else is in there. It's a dark room, and uh, I'm pretty sure the red liquid is blood. I could take a look with my dark vision. Cindy Mara. Can she see in the dark? Uh, I, I think she can, actually, Felicia. But also, Nomu has dark vision, so that works as well. So Which is HP? Yeah, I have... Yeah, I'm a roll perception to take a little peek in there with that dark vision. Cats don't like me. Amaros doesn't have dark vision. Damn. Oh, well, you, you blind, bro. <laughs> I don't see anything. <laughs> he rolled an eight. Okay. <laughs> so uh, as you look in there, no, it's it's, pr- it's well, too I dark. Don't you don't either. see much. Isundra, you look into there with a 13. Isundra, you can see a little bit further into the room. I, I rolled a... Cameros does have dark vision, but I rolled pretty shit for him. So much lower than no, let's just say that. Damn, um, that's low. Isundra, you have a 13. That's, you know, that's a little better than average. So Isundra, you kind of walk over next to Camros, and you're like, and no moon, you're like, let me see, let me see. And as Camros moves to the side, he goes, Isundra, just make sure you're quiet about this. But look, those tables <laughs> in the center, don't, don't they look like there's blood? And as he points, Isundra, you can see into the darkened room, there's two torches on the wall next to the door that you're looking through. But you can see, I'm going to go ahead and reveal part of the map. Specifically for Asundra, none of you guys can see this, only Asundra. So as Asundra looks into the center of the map, this is what she sees. 
Uh, reveal. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Um. Oh, this again. <laughs> now, if he offered me all the riches this time, y'all need to so if I can stay out of it. So uh, this is not great. Uh, Isundra, as you look further into the room with a thirteen, you're able to see there looks to be a table in the center. Uh, you can't see all of the engravings, but there's some glowing coming from that wooden table. But next to the table, on each side of it, uh, on, there are two other looking tables that look like they're machines with chains and ropes attached to them. You don't see anyone laying on these machine-like tables, but you do see splatters of red liquid all over the tables and these uh, weird devices. What what do you do? You see this? None of none of the other party sees this. Well, what are you? I doing? just like peeked in, right? Yeah, you're just peeking in. Okay, I'm gonna turn back to the group and be like, "It's bad news, you guys. It looks pretty fucked up in there. What fucked up. Mean? Some witch shit, I think. And like, I mean, listen, I love spells, but this is like bloody and like the circle, and it looks like a horror movie. You what, know. Let me see. Like, well, I you don't see move. shit. <laughs> <laughs> A five. Damien rolled a five. I feel like you guys are exaggerating. <laughs> no, I'm not exaggerating. It looks really bad in there. It looks I like mean, they put the people... Hold on. It looks like they put the people on the things and they stretch them and it kills them and there's blood and then, I don't know, they summon something maybe? I'm not sure. Hold Vanya. up, hold up now. Vanya, a freak. <laughs> <laughs> Vanya, a freak. You tying them to the fucking shit? Damn. We just came here to drink. She got other plans. Camrose looks at Isuda because he, he wrote a pretty bad on his, his uh, perception. He looks at you. Wait a minute now. You said tables like torture? Torture like devices? Is that what you're saying? Yes, like torture devices. Definitely. Oh my. And Why it the... looks like there is no grape milk in here. Zero. Camrose just like shakes a bit. Oh my goodness. Look, we signed up to take out Vanya. Not, not to look into like I'm here to see much of the brewery. You know, it's free tickets in the brewery. I'm not here to see torture chambers. What the hell kind of brewery has torture chambers? I am worried that maybe it's not great milk in the drink. Maybe it's these people. I'm, I'm worried. worried that we're not going to get to actually drink at all. This is becoming more and more of a farce. And I'm feeling less and less skeptical and guilty about having to off this lady. She seems fucking shady. Dark oh, clouds, dick. dark moon. I don't think you want to drink anything from here. I say we sneak through. Well, well, well no, wait now. Uh, you know what? Uh, how about this? I'm pretty sneaky here. Right? E- either myself or Damien. Damien, you want to do rock, paper, scissors or something? Hell Roll- no, go in there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> One of us has dark vision. That was a quick answer. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Can I already I- got a wife. She can tie you up. Camrose is like, well, damn, I was just giving you the chance to, you know, do something, something heroic, but I guess I'll go ahead and do it. Don't act like I didn't save Eddie R. He Camrose, weeks. I'll come with you. How about that? Oh, whoa, 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 wait now, Eddie oh, R. I, I need to be You're sneaky. not sneaky at You're all. You're not sneaky at all, Eddie R. But when he can fly out of danger. When we were going up the stairs from the sewage, sewage area to the last room we just were in now, you made a lot of clanking noises with that armor. I trust you, Eddie. I really appreciate you, you know, stepping up to the plate. But you can see what's going on from this door. I'm going to sneak in there, and I'll give you the signal. If something happens, Eddie, you're the first one through that door, okay? Got you. All right, guys. Yeah. Do you see Camrose? He puts his hands together. He begins to rub it like a, like a, like a greedy merchant. <laughs> like <Yep. dirt> man. <laughs> he has his tongue sticking out. All right. All right, then. Let me roll this, the stealth check and see how I do. All right, Stealth check. Yes, I wrote a fucking 18. I'm fucking fabulous. <laughs> and uh, so Camrose, he's going to slowly creep the door with his stealth. He pushes it ever so slightly, only enough to where he can fit through it. He doesn't open it entirely. So as he does so, he steps through the room, and he's kind of looking around. He has his daggers in his hands unsheathed. And as he does, so he, he slowly walks around and he looks to the side and then he looks to the next, his other side, and he just goes, by the gods, this is disturbing. He, he just says this to himself as he walks <laughs> further into the room. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
reveal the rest of the room. And as he's looking around, he waves his hand for the rest of you to come into the room. And let me go ahead and reveal what the room looks like. One moment. Reveal. I told you it was messed up. You didn't believe me. I didn't say I didn't believe you. I just like me seeing so much crazy shit. I mean, how crazy oh could it be? All right. So, uh, Camros, he's going to walk over towards the table. So as you all begin to slowly enter the room, you notice there they are two torture-like devices in the center with blood splattered all over them. There is a table in between the two with some diagrams and glowing hieroglyphics on <clears throat> top of the table. But to the immediate left and right of the room as you enter, there are several cages, wooden cages, with locks and chains on them. And when you look through some of these cages, most of them are empty, but there are a few that look to have individuals in them. So to the right, next, the closest to another table that has some potions and books on it where Camros is standing, there is a cage closest to the table. And in that cage, whoever gets near it, you can see there are a group of what looks to be like pixies kind of laying on the floor in the cage with their wings torn off. Mm. And they're all laying there either unconscious, dead for, the, for all you know, but none of them seem to be very lively. They're mostly just lying there, you know, uh, quietly, unable to really speak. And in the cage to the corner next to the pixies, there is what you see, there is an individual that looks like an I might be saying this wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is how it's pronounced. A satyr. Mm -hmm. There is a satyr, a satyr that's in this cage next to the pixies who is sitting there chained up. And this satyr, basically a satyr looks like a humanoid with horns. Think of Phil from uh, Hercules. You got goat oh. legs. Yes, the goat legs. Uh, there's a satyr who's chained up in the furthest cage uh, to the right side here. And you can see that he's unconscious. He's sitting down. His hands are tied together by rope and he's just lie or sitting there unconscious. He might be sleeping. You're not sure, but you do see there's some blood kind of dripping down the side of his side, uh, his gut. And uh, when you look to the left of you on the opposite side of the room, there's plenty more cages with blood kind of uh, splattered along the floor, leading to the cages to the torture devices. There aren't anyone else in those cages but so you see a one cage with a shitload of pixies there's probably about 10 of them in there tiny pixies and the one satyr sitting there unconscious none of them notice you're there but as camros is looking around he's he looks back at the party uh i don't know about you guys but there's these giant glass tubes over here and then tubes over there glass tubes to the left over there with with chemicals or something going on there well what what the hell is this place like a a testing experiment room or something i hate yeah. this funny even more now he's gonna go towards the satyr yeah how dare you use the brewery as a front so noma you walked to, to the cage with the satyr who was unconscious sitting there uh, what are you doing he's gonna actually he's gonna take a look and see um what his uh, wounds are looking like. Okay. I want so, to check, see if he's alive. Basically. Go ahead and make me a medicine check. Oh, this is going to be, full. it's going to be terrible. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh <laughs> shit. 15. 15. Oh, nurse, okay. Nomu. Nomu, you walk up. Do you get pretty close to the cage to, mm -hmm. to look through it? As you get up to the cage, you look down at the satyr who's sitting there with his, his head leaning downwards. His face is facing the floor, but you look at his body and you do see there is some blood dripping from his side. What looks like sticking out of his side looks like a dagger that's still in it. And you can see his hands and his feet are still tied together by rope. And you don't notice any other wounds on him. You just notice a small dagger sticking out of its side. Uh, you can see he's still breathing. So you know he's alive somewhat. Uh, Nomu's going to try to get his attention. Hey. Hey. Ah. Uh are you okay? What are you throwing in this cage? All right, let me make a roll to see if the satyr hears you. Okay. Uh, the satyr, you see he slowly begins to raise his head and open his eyes. Oh, 
Who is there? Who are you? We are, are you... Captain Cole. Please, let me go. I promise I won't tell any of the other fae. Other fae? What, what is going on here? Uh, I am a satyr from, from the deep forests. Uh, whoever kidnapped us, they are draining the energies and the magic properties from our bodies. The pixies over there were the first to be drained. I don't know what they're doing with it, but they're collecting a bunch of fey here. Please, you must help us. Um, I'm uh, oh, oh, so sorry. I was just going to go over and look at the tubes. Oh, okay. While they're talking. All right. Uh, <clears throat> so, Damien, while Nomu is speaking with the satyr in the cage, uh, Camrose, he's looking at the table where the books are, and Damien, you're walking up to the cylinder-like test tubes that are laid flat on the floor up against the walls to the left of the room and what you see they are connected to this machinery and in these test tubes it's clear glass you can see liquid that's circulating and kind of just um, glowing a light blue and you can tell that the machinery is on and it seems to be churning that liquid in the tube and it seems to be making this water or whatever in it glow a little bright, brightly. You're not sure what it does, but you can tell that the machinery is doing something to the liquid in that, in those tubes. Uh, Nomu, the satyr, he, he just, he, he's very weak. He's hurt. He can barely really talk. But uh, you do hear though, again, he mentions that whoever is kidnapping them, it seems to be they are draining the magical attributes and the magical properties from Faye in this room. Yeah, Nomu's not going to leave him in there. He's going to try to get the cage open. The, the, the cage is locked. There is a small lock on the cage. He's going to use uh, sword burst on the lock. Try to okay. force it off. Okay, so go ahead, and make, attention to us. go ahead and make an attack roll for me. I don't know. Is it loud? I don't know. It wouldn't be that loud. It's a tiny lock. It's like you taking your sword, swinging it at a, a small master lock kind of thing. All right, so what is that? Spill attack bonus plus six. All right, so let me roll my d20, wherever that may be. Mm -hmm. Okay, 16 will definitely plus, hit it. Uh, plus six. Okay, yeah, de definitely will hit the lock. And go. I'm just going to go ahead and say you don't have to roll damage. It's yeah. a very light lock. It's not hard to, to break off. It's pretty shoddy. The mm -hmm. lock quickly snaps, and the gate to the cage slowly creaks open. He's gonna take. He's gonna try to ease ease him out of the cage and uh, draw the dagger. Well, first I'm gonna examine the dagger before I draw it. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a nice peek at it. Look at it without touching. Uh, you look down at the dagger, and uh, I'll just keep your perception check from the last one. Uh, you look at or your medicine check, the fifteen. Mm -hmm. uh, you're looking down at the dagger, and it looks to be a common dagger. Nothing fancy about it, really. It's a standard dagger. You don't see anything, you know, fancy, or, or, or you don't feel any magics or anything coming from it, from what okay. you know. Yeah, I'm going to roll an arcana with that. 14. You definitely do not feel any magic coming from the dagger. All right, he's going to take, take that dagger out of him and uh, okay. see if he can get patched up by somebody. Hey, okay. Eddie R, come check in. His heart. Got Meanwhile, Damien's over there like a fucking five-year-old tapping on the shit. <laughs> what is this? Is this a drink or not? <laughs> I'm trying to see if there's something I can open this with. <sighs> as, Fuck as, this. as Damien's messing around with the test tubes, the, the doors connected to them are locked and very difficult to open. <clears throat> not worth my time. Uh, he goes over to the pixie cage, which is across from where Eddie R is. I mean, it's to the left of Eddie R. To the left, okay. Yeah, closest right to the table. Yes. I guess I'll pick that lock. Okay. Oh, go Let's ahead and stay in there. Go ahead and make me a roll for that. Uh, go ahead and just make me a stealth or a slot a uh, slot of hand. Well, I should have advantage, man. All right. So as Damien said, goes it's to a weak lock. <laughs> as Damien goes to try and pick the lock, you wrote a, a natural one, but you have a seven total. 
Uh, you feel that it's about to open and unlock, but your lock pick just isn't able to do it. Uh, you can roll again if you spend 10 more minutes attempting to unlock it, which you'd probably have the time to do with Nomu and Eddie are trying to tend to this satyr. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm going to attack it. <laughs> All right, Damien takes... <laughs> Damon takes his weapon and he just swings it into the lock and you're able to smash the lock right open. They got the bamboo prisons from Ghost and Tsushima and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as you do, so Eddie R, uh, you rolled a 24 on your medicine. What are you doing? Healing up uh, the satyr? Just, just giving the satyr a general medical checkup, just making sure everything's all right, banishing anything that needs to be banished. Okay. Uh, you, you can see the only wound on this satyr uh, happens to be the dagger that pierced his side. You do, however, notice something that Nomu did not notice. If did you guys are you guys going to untie him? I mean, he hasn't given us too ma- too much detail, so no. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Tell us you have trust issues without telling us you have trust issues. <laughs> <laughs> so you, uh, you, you, that's the only wound you can really see, Eddie. Are you know that the wound is not a life threatening one? Um, you'll be able to heal him up and patch him up, but with him still being tied up, there's there's some things you just can't see right now. Look, I just found it weird that he was in the cage with a dagger. Yeah, that's like being in jail. He's not getting the jail. Well, some people put things in their buttholes. I mean, the guard <laughs> can clearly see the knife sticking out of him. Man, it's like handing somebody a pistol in prison. You don't know that. <laughs> I mean, it's not like we won't beat the hell out of him if he tries anything. True. He doesn't know who we are, but he should. Who's going to save him? The pile of pixie dust over here? Hey, wake up. (laughs) Man, they don't look so good. The the pixies, there's 10 of them lying in that cage. Uh, None of them really move all that much. There is one, though, that Damien, you spot slowly open their, uh, she opens her eyes ever so slightly. The others still lie there like motionless. But the one that opens their eyes, they're having a hard time breathing. I said all of their wings have been uh, ripped off or, or taken off in some way, shape, or form. But you can see the one pixie that opens their eyes, like, slowly trying to breathe and looks up at you. And they try to speak up, but they have a very hard time speaking. All right. Don't talk. How small is the pixie? Pixies are considered tiny. So oh, they're... so it can fit in my hand, kind of? Yeah. Oh. I definitely want to pick oh. it up. I definitely want to pick it up. It's little. I don't care. This little creature is mine. I wrap her in my cape. It's okay. Hey, look, guys. I walk over like the pixie belongs to me now. Eddie R, do something. Uh, fix the pixie, Eddie R. Eddie R just looks down like, what am I supposed to do? Heal her. I'm not wasting my healing on the pixie. Wow. Consider how deep we're in here. But you want to fix the person that looks like they stabbed themselves? Way to go. That, I, I just banished them up. It's a completely different story. You hear that, pixies? The v- Don't skirt. trust that ER. He gives money to church. He's going to leave you all here to die. I hope you lose sleep over this tonight. Uh, the satyr, he's looking up at the group. Please, untie me before... Before the doctor returns. The doctor? The doctor. doctor. Who the hell's the doctor? The the one who commits this atrocious act on us, Faye. Isundra would like to do something. Can I do something? Yes, you may. (laughs) What would she like to do? He's the only one talking. The pixie's knocked out pretty much, right? The the pixie's awake, but barely. Uh, All right. There's other pixies, though, in other cages, right? Just the, one, just the one cage. There's 10 of them oh. in one cage, but they're There's all like... Ten of them. There's nine of them. In the ca- yeah, nine in the cage, one in <laughs> Damien's hand. But, but the nine in the one. cage, the nine in the cage are like completely unconscious or for all you know, dead. They're not moving. That's fucked up. Well, then I'm going to go after um, Phil from Hercules. <laughs> Shit. Is he chubby too? He's a little chubby. I love it. Okay. Maybe we should re- untie him. Hold on, I have a question for him. Really, he's gonna follow us around the whole time? That's dead weight. I'm not protecting him. Oh, it don't sound like he wants to follow us around. It's not like he wants to get out. He wants to get the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to get the fuck out. I'm trying. Isundra is gonna grab him and, and she's gonna ask, since the Fae are here, do you know anyone named Napoleon Fae apart? 
Is he here? Uh, the Seder, let me make, make a roll. I haven't seen him in a really long time. Okay. Uh, the Seder looks up at Isundra with a slow, weak nod to his, his head. I, uh, Napoleon Theopart, I, I, I don't think I know who that is. is uh, then are is, you really part of the Fae if you don't know who the most the, important one is? The Fae, co- we come from a very vast and massive area it's, it's like he told me he's like the leader uh, well, he could have been lying for all uh, for <gasps> why all would I he know. lie to me he I gave me powers know. too yes Faye, Faye have magical powers to do what we please which is why we're stuck in here they're draining us of our magics why i don't know i don't even know where i'm at <laughs> He just woke up and I'm like, tell me everything you know. He's got a dagger in his side. Literally (laughs) trying to not die. (laughs) Okay, Isundra's happy with that answer and uh, she unties him. All right, so when you go to untie the satyr, he slowly tries to get up. He grabs onto the the side of the cage, like using it to propel or prep himself up as a support. His his legs are a bit wobbly and he just looks at you. Thank you. I must get out of here, and the pixies as well. All of us, we have to escape this horrid place before the doctor returns. I don't think that Damien's going to let you take that one. I think that one is now our new friend. But other than that, yeah, you can go. Camros <laughs> uh, goes, hold up now, everyone. Camros is at the table where there's a couple of books and bottles oh. with liquid and potions. Oh. And he, he looks over at the rest of you. Uh, I don't think that Seder is lying. Uh, there's some weird books over here with some scriptures of spells and whatnot. Uh, I, I don't understand all of them, but I definitely can read a few of it. Some of this, it is definitely some kind of uh, demonic type stuff going on around here. You mean what a you ritual? Mean? Uh, you can say that. I thought that. you were super smart. What do you mean you don't read it all? I mean, I am super smart, Asundra, but I don't know everything. What language is it written in? This is written in, some of it is common, and some of it is infernal. Language of the demons oh, and devils themselves. You should know the infernal one, right? Yes, I do, but I doesn't mean I understand what the spell means. Mm. But what does it say? Oh, don't read that out loud. Oh, no, are you crazy? You do, not read <laughs> such, you do not read such things out loud. Well, if only you could text it to me. But if, uh, if what that satyr is saying is correct, he cameras points over to the test tubes. It looks like they are draining these fey creatures of their magical properties and, and potentially using it to mix it in the brewery. Maybe oh there's goodness. some maybe there's some kind of like addiction or some kind of magical attribute that makes the brew stronger or, or something in some way. So maybe that's why maybe that that's makes why it's so popular. Who knows? Who's that makes you stronger? Yes, that's all I just heard. This is a total justification in drink. This is perfect for my lifestyle. She's a Damn genius. It. I mean, she's a demon. Don't even think I don't it. think it's good. It's but, not. But I gotta admire her for, you know, her innovation. No, no, you don't. We're gonna kill her anyway. I'm just saying. Well, uh, clearly I... This is some, this is some this. pretty dark shit, Damien. This... Capture- I'm not justifying it. I'm just saying. Shouldn't I already like to drink booze that actually, you know. Ma- Listen, you guys all have powers and shit. I'm a measly human. Forgive me for wanting to feel fucking special. Yaito's just in the back, kind of looking at everything. And he's shaking his head. Oh my goodness. This is evil here. We cannot stay very long. I, know, I, do, not th- pray. I do not think I will feel as bad now. Taking out this Vanya, the dark one. Yeah, I'm feeling better by the second. Let's mm. get this Faye and uh, Sailor out of here. And as as you're helping the Sailor up and the the Pixie, uh, <clears throat> Isundra, make me a perception check. All right, a thirteen. You uh, Isundra, with a thirteen on your perception, you you notice a bit of light slowly appearing. You see like this like this dust kind of appearing above uh, above the floor near you and as this dust begins to uh, slowly drop from the from the air 
in the center of the room there near next to you uh, a small like portal appears oh no a tear if you will into the dimension or the plane no. and uh what you see coming out of this small portal there is marengo <laughs> and napoleon oh, so now he wants to show up on top of morengo and as the corgi jumps through the portal landing onto the floor uh it looks around panting with its tongue out and napoleon's looking around what is this isundra i didn't do it i've been waiting for you to show up for a while he's now, looking around this he, is fucked up he notices the the fey and the satyr and the pixies this is an attack in all of fey this Vanya de Darkmoor must go. You must kill her now, today, Isundra. I, I, I cannot, I'm... I cannot stand for such a thing against the Fey. And you see Napoleon. He jumps off of the corgi Morango. He just he runs over to the cage with the nine pixies, and he looks down at all of them. This, this is not right. Whoever did this, they are all dead. And he I, looks over at I... the satyr. What about you? Who is in charge of this? And the satyr looks at Napoleon. I, I do not know. And you see Napoleon walk up to the satyr. He just jumps up and his wings are kind of flapping. So he's just floating in the air or flying. And he just smacks the satyr in the face. I asked you oh. a question. Oh my Who is God. in charge of this? And the satyr just, <laughs> the satyr just cowers a bit. I, I do not know. What do you mean you do not know? Do you not see face of the one doing this to you and other fae? And the satyr goes, no, they just call him the doctor. And as he says this, Napoleon looks over at the Sundra. You, I order you to slay this doctor, whoever it is. They are First taking pay from my, from my plane and doing terrible things. You shall slay the doctor and the Vanya. First of all, it's been a while. How are you? Second of all, we were going to do that anyway, so I don't know why you're here. I am here because I want to be here. Oh. I'm here because that. Felicia said she hasn't seen him in a while. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now don't listen. worry about it. We're obviously going to take care of it. We're releasing them. It's fine. Everything is fine. This guy said he didn't know you, though, and I thought you were like a big deal. I am a big deal. He looks over mm -hmm. at the sailor. What do you mean you just know who I am? I am Z, only, one and only, Napoleon. Pay apart. And the satyr just shakes his head. I, I've never heard of that name. And before he can even finish the sentence, Napoleon just smacks him again. Jesus. Damn. I told you, you just out of blood. Your, your brain is, is local right now. You do not understand. <laughs> Why I am you? very popular amongst the fake. Now, he uh, waves his hand as the portal slowly gets bigger. He grabs onto the satyr's hand. I shall take this one. And Damien, give me this other pixie. I'll be taking her as well. No! What are you going to do? I am taking them back home where they are safe. Home where? Back home to the Fae. Where is that? Can I visit? Maybe in the future if Isundra does well. I'm not sure about maybe. And relying on her, it's not making me feel good. Listen, Damn. this gives me a little piece of home. I'm a dad and I can't be around my kids, but I want to adopt this pixie. No. <laughs> You cannot adopt Pixie. Pixie is not part of human society. Neither are you. Who are you to judge? I am Pixie. What are you, is, or the Pixie dad? You may call me that. I think it's funny how no one could see him and now everyone's talking to him. Does he pick the fight? I'm here very confused. <laughs> <laughs> you all can actually see him. He's allowing himself to be seen. We protected his suture all this time and you know she's you? stuck. I can protect this pixie with my life. No. This pixie must come home to the rest of the fate. And do what for the rest of eternity? Be safe. Look what you people have done to this poor pixie. You have ripped her wings out of her back. We no. Did. I didn't do it. I busted that cage open and I saved this pixie's life. And you're going to sweep in and take all the credit? I don't think so. You listen now. <laughs> you listen here, Damien. Do Why not... are you friends with this thing, Asundra? It's very bossy. I'm not, it's not friend. He gave me my power, and now it's like I, I got to listen to him, and I fucked up. <laughs> this is fey business. Pixie must return home to family. Ah, uh, just give him the pixie and stop slapping that cedar, or I'll eat right, you. Just give us a minute alone. 
Damien kind of swoops the quote, the cape over them, and he's kind of as, cut, as, he's as kind you, of using his finger to rub the chin. It's you, it okay. <laughs> the pixie's like half dead, kind of like <laughs> lying there as you're <laughs> squishing its face. <laughs> it wants to go home, but Damien is not allowing it. <laughs> And while this is going on, Napoleon looks over at Edgar. What do you mean Z is confused? Who are you? Where did you come from? Who are you Why to are talk you down to me such as this, Mr. Bald Man? Whoa. I'm Mr. Bald Edgar Dasane from House Dasane. Who are you? Napoleon's fair part. Never oh, heard of you. I told you. I've never heard of you. It is not me that has a poor family that is drowning in debt. Damn. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you, Do you not? Around nervously. <laughs> he trying to air you out like that? <laughs> all right. Okay. Laid all your shit bare. <laughs> I know more about all of you than you know about each other. I am Napoleon Fairparts. I am the patron of Isundra. To be know fair, no I told you guys. I told you guys about him, so. This I know I told Eddie. Yes. This guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, guess what? You didn't choose him. This sucks as well. You are not as cool as you may think. Damn. Yes, because I'm cooler. <laughs> now give me the pixie so I may take both pixie and this satyr back home to the fae. Where they belong. The fae wild. All right, all right. Everyone gather up the pixies and the satyr. Let's get them out of here. Yeah. There were only nine pixies. Shh. Don't tell them. <laughs> He's already seen the one of Damien's. Damien head. slowly walks over. But if we give him nine and he only thinks there's nine, then it's fine. The pixie has since succumbed to her injuries. <laughs> she will get a funeral. <laughs> Barrier in the backyard. Damn. Shoebox? <laughs> Damn. A shoebox. You put uh, little guinea pigs. In. Yeah, guinea pigs and hamsters. I think we're done here. You can go. Napoleon, he takes the pixie from Damien's hand and he grabs onto the satyr. Okay, she's not really dead. I thought you'd give up. No, I should never give up. Now, I have given you order, Sundra. You do it. I was already going to do it. Shut up. Jeez. Goodbye. And as this, as he says, so he, he runs through the portal with the satyr and the the half unconscious pixie and Morango looks up at everyone and just jumps through it and the portal just vanishes leaving you all alone with nine hey, bye i guess unconscious dead pixie <laughs> or i should say dead pixie Ex Sandra, i'm going to eat your patron is that okay i mean with honestly you? do it he's so annoying sometimes and he's just as mean to me as you guys are so oh <laughs> uh... Well, I hate to uh, be the bearer of bad news, but everyone, I hear someone coming through the doors to, uh, to the north here. Everyone hide. Hide. Uh, uh, we're gonna, I guess we're going to roll some stealth checks. Yes. <laughs> oh. Roll some stealth checks. Yep. Oh, roll fire, please. Wait a roll. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. All right. So, Damien, you rolled a 20. Oh. Namu has a 16 really should have like taken a four hour nap while we were doing this yaito is gonna hide between some of these cages he rolled a 17 so he's doing pretty well what am i looking for oh no <laughs> all right <laughs> nomu what it was 16 where are you okay yeah. everyone describe how you're trying to hide in this room oh um, ne next I'm to the desk in between the desk and the bamboo cages okay. i'm behind the table all right actually i have skills <laughs> Screw I have like skills. This. Wait, I still have the spider walk on me. I'm casting. I just hide on the stone. ceiling. You hear me, Ray? What'd you say? I'm casting melt in the stone. I'm hiding in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hiding on the ceiling. I'm about. I'm about here on the ceiling. Okay, clinging to like Spider Man. And what about Isundra? The fairies are gone, right? Yes. He took all of them? No, the nine that are still in the cage are dead, so he did not worry about them. If I go in the cage under all these fairies, 
they're all considered tiny so you are they gonna hide me no they're not they're (laughs) absolutely not (laughs) okay um there would be a giant body just lying there (laughs) with dead pixies on them what if i go Hmm. hold on what do i have what do i got going on here spell wise is there any foliage no are there any plants all right fine fuck you then no plants um where the hell am i gonna go you can hide go? you can hide in a cage or go under one of the tables in the center of the torture i'm gonna hide in the cage so that phil was in did he give us a name no okay fine we're calling him phil i'm okay. gonna hide in the place that phil was in okay all right so everyone kind and of i close scatters. the door okay so you all scatter into your separate areas. Uh, you see Camrose, he rushes up to one of the uh, vertical test tubes and he's like pushing himself up against the wall next to the door, next to this test tube, trying to hide as best as possible. Yaito dives between some of the cages. Um, Gnome was up top. <laughs> Eddie R is in the wall with stone melt or whatever. And you said Damien is kind of like under the table, next to the table? I'm next to it. it okay. Crouch down. Okay. So what happens is as you all are waiting or awaiting whatever is coming through the door, the door to the north, it quickly slams open. And then the individual that steps through shuts the door behind them. And as they do so, their back is to you. And as they slowly turn, you can see that this individual has what looks like a bag in his left arm and his right hand is reaching into the bag and he's pulling out like a a burger while he's just smack, like chomping onto it. And he's like, kind of just like humming to himself. And as he's doing so, he has like this this lab coat on him and he walks towards the desk where Damien's at. He does not notice at all where Camrose is because his back's to Camrose. He does not see you, Nomu, but he's walking towards the desk and I'm going to make a roll really quick see if he notices Damien because right next to it. I rolled a one. Holy shit. Oh, he, wow, shit. he doesn't see hungry. shit. So yeah, he, he's smashing this burger while he's walking to the table as if like nothing's wrong. He's just singing to himself. Oh, no. Oh, oh. And then he places his bag onto the table, pulls out his chair, and he, he sits down at the table, puts the bag down. He just continues to eat his, his burger. He does not notice anything. He was not paying attention whatsoever. He's so comfortable coming into this room that he just doesn't think anything would ever happen. So he doesn't notice all of you with a with a roll of one. He just sits there at his table, still eating his burger. <laughs> oh, this is a good burger. Oh, yeah. Sure, sure. <laughs> oh man, my boy is complacent. <laughs> For... What what are you all doing? He does not know any of you are there. Well, he's like he's like the chef in Little Mermaid before he goes to cook <laughs> Sebastian. You know what I'm talking about? He comes and he's like, Le poisson, le poisson. He, 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 ha, ha, ha. He's like that. He's like fully <laughs> not paying attention at all. <laughs> That's how I imagine it. It's well, uh, what you see before you is it's uh, just a human male. He looks to be at about mid, mid 40s, but he's just sitting there eating his food. Uh, well, Eddie R., you wrote a 22 on perception. What are you trying to do with the perception? Um, so I can't see anything when I'm in the wall. Uh, I can only basically do perception checks with disadvantage to hear stuff. Okay. So with a 14 with a disadvantage, you definitely hear him walk in. He shuts the door and you hear him pull out his chair and he scoots it back in as he's sitting at the table and you just hear him humming to himself. You hear the bag too with the food kind of crumple every now and then. Oh man. No one wants that burger. He's <laughs> almost it's at the drill. <laughs> He's almost at the drooling state, man. Uh, Camos is going to look around. He looks up at Nomu. Uh, he can't see most of you, though, at his current location. But he looks up at Nomu, and he just has two fingers pointing at his eyes, and he slowly points towards the man at the table as if he's uh, going to sneak up on him. And he just looks up at Nomu like, do you agree? Nomu nods his head. He's going to crawl right above him. Okay. So go ahead and make a stealth check Yep. as you're crawling on the ceiling. Give me one second. Pull up the kit sheet. There we go. A 22. Nomu's fucking Spider-Man up on this ceiling Hell as you're yeah. slowly walking across the ceiling. Camos is going to come around from the back as well. And, uh, oh, I rolled a 14. He's totally fine with his bonuses. The two of you slowly make your way towards this, quote-unquote, doctor. Uh, Nomu, 
you see Camro slowly pulls out a dagger and he has one, his left hand forward as if he's going to try and grab the doctor from behind. What are you doing? Are you going to let him do this or are you going to jump when down? He, when he grabs him, the second he touches his skin and grabs him up, I'm going to jump. I'm going to fall right on top of him. The weight <laughs> okay. of my body. <laughs> so I'm going to go and make a roll for Camros. Okay. Pretty wood. Uh, Camros, he sneaks up behind this individual and he quickly wraps his arm around the guy's neck. And as he does so, the guy coughs up some of his burger. Oh, oh! And he's getting the RVD from uh, Nomus. <laughs> That frog splash. <laughs> I'm coming down. As, as he gets choked up, he slowly looks up and sees this Tabaxi, heavily muscular Tabaxi, dropping down freeform off the top ropes, yep. down at him. <laughs> and uh, Karamos looks up, but he's just like, oh, no. He lets go of the guy. And no, you just land straight on this guy, smashing down into him. And as you do so, the legs underneath the table, they snap, and the chair just crumbles as the guy is now on the floor. Ah! Get off me! Who the fuck are you? Get off me! No one's gonna cover his mouth. <laughs> Damien, Damien slowly stands from the side of the table, fists clenched, tears in his eyes. He got the meatball chin. <laughs> you, I should be able to hear that, you, right? I'm screaming. Yeah, you hear it all. You, you uh, killed the cutest thing I've ever seen. You will pay. And I'm just gonna punch him in the fucking face as hard as I can. Okay. Jump, jump him! <laughs> oh Am I just rolling a strength for that? Uh, just go ahead and make me an attack roll to see if you accidentally hit someone uh, or if you actually hit him. You have an advantage because he's he is uh, down and grappled. Smothered. Yeah. Roll that again. <laughs> I'm weak. <laughs> All right. Plus, your, what's your what's your strength? Uh, I mean, it's only a one. OK, that's fine. So you got a you got a 10 total. Uh, that's more than enough to hit this guy. He's not an arm or anything. His AC is very low. You you punch the guy. So uh, what's, your, of- what's your uh, so you did you do two damage to him? You just smack him in the face and you knock a tooth out. And you just, oh, who, who are you guys? What what is the meaning of this? Damien pulls a cloth out of his pocket to start shoving it down his throat. Yep, there uh, you go. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, are, are are you doing anything? Because he, I Eddie, mentioned... when he hears all the commotion, he just steps off the wall. Okay. <laughs> you see, as you step out, Nomu, Camrose, and Damien kind of holding this guy down, stuffing his mouth with a cloth. He, the guy looks terrified. He's looking around. Oh, oh. It sounds I mean, I like think he that's wa- fair. It sounds like he wants to scream. Guards, guards. <laughs> He can't be Eddie R. Get out of here. He's got a cloth down his throat. He's going to be. Oh, I'm stomping him full combat boots. <laughs> oh, my God. So you do. Uh... I'm stomping. I'm trying to hear ribs crack. He's he's a shady piece of shit. So you. Oh uh, kick That's down, all we needed to know. Kick down into his ribs. Uh, you hear a crack. One of his ribs crack. He just cries out. Oh. <laughs> Damien's out of burger. control. I'm just on top of him. Full Carol's, mounts, Carol's, Carol's, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute, before we take him out, let's ask some questions. He might know a thing or two. He seems to know what's going on. Yeah, you question him. He's, He's eating a... his... No one's going to eat his burger. Uh, what's left of it? We... Well, well, wait a minute now. What, He's chewing wait, it in front of him. Wait, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you going to ask to drink his, his soda too? What is this, Pulp Fiction? Who are you? <laughs> this burger is good. You're right. <laughs> kind of elbows him. Damien rips the cloth out of his mouth. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. Listen here, you. you. We're not here for you. So we're going to ask you a couple of questions. And maybe we'll let you live. Maybe we won't. But the chances of you living are much higher if you answer us. Do you understand? Is Sandra bust out of the cage? What are you guys doing? That's really late. <laughs> now you've been. I'm, I'm gonna, we're going to need you to answer some questions. What do you mean? Are you guys going to beat this guy up? I'm going to ask him a couple of questions. We should beat them up. Yes. But first, <laughs> listen to me, man. We're here for someone else and we're not here for you. And you're going to keep your lips closed. It's going to be shush, shush until we ask you a couple of these questions. You're gonna no, we are definitely them. here for him, too, though. Sh- Asundra, shut up. <laughs> Do you want him to answer these questions or not? <laughs> I just need him to know that what he did is really fucked up. Listen here. What is going on in this room? What are you doing with these fae? 
and the doctor he's looking up he's terrified he's got no move kind of standing up top of cameras and damon's over here trying to break more of his ribs he's just ah, oh, don't hurt me i'm just doing my job damn it i'm just doing what i'm paid to do and uh cameras he puts his hands or his hand up to his cheek and he just nods a bit rubbing his chin Ah, well, doing what you're paid to do. I understand that. I understand that. But this there are is plenty some... of jobs that'll pay you to but, not kill but, things. This is some shady ass shit right here. Now tell us really what, what is going on in this room. And the man, just, ah, we, we, we capture uh, Fey from the Fey Wild and we, we uh, extract their magical energies and we mix it into the brewery that makes the drinks more addicting. It, it gives us more profit for the arcane delights. The magic allows many magical things with the drinks that those don't know about. Uh, that's all I'm doing. I'm, I'm just doing that. And the, the uh, canvas looks over at the torturing tables. Well, what's with those torturing tables and all this blood then? And, and what is with this infernal language going on in this spell book? This is some demonic type shit you're doing here. Can't say Nothing like this can be good. And the doctor, he, he kind of quiets up a bit. I, I can't answer. Vanya will kill me if I say. And we'll Why kill you, you if you don't. the fairies? Well, you better answer now because if uh, you're afraid of Vanya, I think you have much more to be afraid of right now. Vanya is not here. We are. Now, you don't da- get hurting people? I bonded with that small creature. You'll never know what we had. The, the doc, he just... I, look, they're just fey from the fey wild. They're not actually people. And you're Whoa. just a fucking doctor who's going to be shit on the bottom of my shoe. If you don't tell us where to find Vanya Day Dark Morning, you don't tell me right now because I'm getting frustrated. I haven't drank in over eight hours. I'm getting real shaky, man. My nerves are fucking bad. Listen, listen. I Look, the books here, they're, they're made of spells. We, we summon we summon demons at times from time, you know, and they help us extract the magical properties and we, we, we move the magics into the test tubes and then we mix it with the, the brewery and, and the drinks and the alcohol and it makes the drinks much better. That's, that's how Vanya's brewery is much better than all the ones around Tirister. Where can we find her? Is she here in his like building? a lot for just the brewery. <laughs> you guys are doing a lot. I know we're doing a lot, but aren't we the best around the continent? No, you are the worst right now because that's terrible. I do not like it. Is that all that matters? Just being the best? Being the best, earning the most money. Look, listen, it's, I'm not the one running the place. I'm just doing the job I was hired to do. I would you about- like it if we came in here and we rip off your arm and rip off your other arm. That's what you're doing. I'm not doing it to people. These are fake. <laughs> you're <That's creatures! laughs> Damien Snap. takes a collar of his shirt and starts shaking him. You're a son of a bitch. I'll do a lot of things for money, but I wouldn't do that. And he fucking slams him down and stands up. I can't do this. He's walking away frustrated. Yaito looks at uh, Damien. Come over here, Damien. Before you get out of hand, I understand this is very vile things happening here. But <laughs> do not allow this fool to enrage you. I'm very emotional, Yaito. Pour me some tea, please. Yes, very well. Here. Should I give Hell him yeah. the NR stack? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, you should. Should I, should I give him the NR stack? Please. Wait. Wait, I don't know what the Edit Stark is, but please. Oh, you better listen. find out. Wait, 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 listen. Listen the to me. The Great Sword descends. I, I can tell you exactly where, where Vanya is if you spare me. I tell think us. You better start talking. He starts banging his head over the uh, edge of the, uh, the, the cherries on. So he gets no. a nice clean cut. The, the doctor, he starts singing. He is singing like a canary. Vani is the very highest floor right now as we speak. She's hardly here at the brewery, but tonight she is here and she is taking care of business up above. I, I can tell you exactly what, what to expect on the next floor. I can How many tell guards? You, there, there are, there, there's about, there's, there's two people up above on the next floor, but they are accompanied by several golems. The next floor is the storage room. That's where we store all the alcohol. And after that is the main floor where all of the brewery takes place, all the machinery. It's also the entrance to the place. Uh, Above that is the office area of of the brewery. There's a lot of offices and some workers there, not very many. And and after that, there's a a break room of sorts and a meeting rooms. And then above that is where Vanya is. What's a discreet way we can get out of this building without being noticed? 
it's huge. There's got to be another way than where uh, we came in. Vanya has made it very tight. There's the only way out is through the main entrance or through a secret path that only Vanya knows about. Or you can go back through the sewage, which is I'm assuming where you came from. I expect we come back where we came from. Um, good answers. Gag him and throw him in a cage. If Does Averis we- need proof of death? Or I think she'll know. Yeah, maybe <laughs> she'll it'll be the talk of the town. Uh, as as you as you say this, uh, the doc he's looking up, and uh, he's like, "Averis, what does she have to do with this?" Shut Knock up, about kill him, <laughs> right? Get out my mouth, bitch! And he punches him in the face and knocks him he out. He can't live anyway. He was hurting the Fae. We have to kill him. Well, he's knocked out, so if you kill him, he won't suffer. Just throw him. Uh, like I said, I'm just gagging him. Send that him in sword. Cage. No, descend the sword. Napoleon wants us <laughs> to kill him. We have to. The the doc, he is knocked out. I'm just going to let you guys know. He has like five HP. He, he's a standard ass dude. He's a cancer to society. Nice. He needs to be eliminated. Gosh. Oh, you want to kill him? He hands... He hands Asunja specifically the righteous great sword. <laughs> wow. You want to do it? Then you do it. Look him yes. in the eyes. Here's final words. Do you aid the she cult? He's said, dead asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he already said his final words. Go ahead. Take the great sword. Wait, wait, wait a minute now. You don't look kind of badass with what that. Does, what do you think about this, cleric? I don't He's a piece really of approve. shit. He's a piece of shit, Edyar. Yes. Correct. But he isn't the one in charge. No, but he's helping. This is not the Nuremberg trials, okay? He fucking did it, so... Yaito speaks up. I am totally against murdering innocent people. However, back home in Shimara, taking people from their homes and torturing them for your own sadistic purposes is, uh, you know, right to death by... By uh, mm-hmm. by the law, it's even he his head back over doesn't then. like him. <laughs> All right, uh, I I am against killing. However, what this man is doing is evil, whether it be for money or not. He chose to do this occupation. Yes, wake him up and ask him if he has children, and I that's why agree. he nah he's, he's he's gonna bend his head right over that edge of that chair again, and raise the great sword. Then oh, Yaito has spoken. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, if the, it's no true. If Yaito wants to kill someone, you know, then it's Damien no sipping more. his tea. Of not even monsters. blinking. Nomu, uh, are you raising your sword? He's raising the great or, sword. As, as you as you raise your sword, you hear a voice oh. in the back in the back of your head. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe I shouldn't do it now. <laughs> <laughs> That's Napoleon Fairpart. He loves this shit. You know what I'm saying? Do it. I, Nomu, of House Monstrous, will deliver this strike. All the justice and all the righteousness. I, w- I will give you your death. He lets the great sword descend. Damn. So you kill him. Yes, he has to. Damien told in his tea with two hands, slowly he did, nodding. He did murder like nine fey in there, and one was already dying. So you yeah. you decapitate this unconscious man. It's not the first person no mu kill. Remember because that what guy that was we... teaming up with the wolves? He killed yeah, him what too. What if we didn't kill him and then you know they keep doing it? We have to He's stop. Ambrose, you, you you decapitate this 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 doc and his head just comes clean off. He is instantly gone. And as this happens, uh, Yaito, he's looking away. Yaito doesn't like seeing death, but he understands even this guy would have died back in his homeland. But Camros, he's looking at the at Cat and Co. Well, well, I'll fucking be damned. You guys are just as bad as me. But, you know, if you didn't do it, I would have had to do it. He, you know, you, you did speak the name of a virus. We can't let that escaping. Into yeah, this. we kind of fucked up. <laughs> Fuck her. Fuck him. Fuck all of this. No, what is look- Nomu's- I need to know what Nomu's alignment is. Nomu's is way better than yours right now. I don't know why you're worried about Nomu. Well, he needs a black mark because I've got one for robbing that priest. Oh no, Yaito had worse. a point. Yaito had a point. He did. But when you take people from killed- their homes and torture them and kill them, yeah, you gotta go, buddy. He killed the very bad man. You robbed the priest that did absolutely nothing wrong. Shook him down. He did nothing when Wait, we were there. Carlos looks over we at know Damon. a lot of priests are not great people. Camros I, I agree that. with that, but... Carlos has a grin on his face. 
Excuse me, Damien, you robbed a priest? Are you oh, shocked? Yeah. I'll rob you too. And Wait, did Nomu know that? Damn. Or did Edyar know that? Damien no. robbed the priest. Which priest? Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> uh oh. The fact that you know him all by name is sad. <laughs> you know that when you gave money to that one time? Yeah. All of them. So really, I stole from Eddie. How, how much? How much? How much did you steal? Not enough to let the church collapse. They're fine. Did, how much? Tell me the amount. Why? I forget how much you gave her. I did it to cure your stupid lycanthropy curse. I was the only one how that much wasn't a wolf, did you steal and I helped pay the for priest? it. What are you gonna do about it? Damien gets in his face. I'm going to collect remunerations. You miss one session, and you think you're bit fucking hot shit. Damien, push, Damien pushes him. Get the fuck out my face. <laughs> <laughs> Damien is mad as fuck over this day. You wanna, to you wanna check that against my AC? <laughs> you just push hurt your back. hand. Hey, break that up. That, yeah, I'm pretty sure gonna hurt your do. hand against my armor. Damien yeah, takes his hand and muffs it like pie faces Eddie R's face. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Yaito <laughs> steps up. Okay, okay, enough, enough. We cannot fight amongst each other. Let he's us, not going to try to pump me over let us, 10 gold I stole will, like five months will, ago. We will deal with this situation the when we are safe and outside of this brewery. Right now is not the time to fight. Camrose is not uh, going to forget that. Camrose just, he, he raises, uh, raises his hand. I, I completely agree with Yaito on this one. Let's, let's not fight just yet, guys. Let's, let's not push. Once we get out of here safely, you all can fight as much as you fucking want. I don't give a fuck. But right now, I need you all to have your head straight because we have, we're in some deep ass shit. This is a lot deeper than I was expecting in this damn place. I was not expecting torturing Faye, summoning demons, and finding a torture room and shit. This is some wild ass shit that I'm not here for. So let's fucking get this job done. Kill this Vanya the Darkmore. This is even more of a reason to not feel bad about it. And let's get out of here and you can argue once the job is done. How about that? We do that anyway. We don't need your speeches. I'll be collecting remunerations from you, Damien, but I will let it settle for now. Damien goes in the corner to cool off Ugh. Don't even know why I put up with this group. <laughs> Take a breather. Isundra goes over to Edyar. Edyar, don't be upset. She's having a bad day. She really wanted to keep that little Fay. Uh, that, that's fine. I, I understand that. But robbing a it's priest is upset. unacceptable. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll deal with that later. I'll let it settle for now. The DM already punished her, so. <laughs> yeah. So, um. <laughs> I hate that he's such the bigger person. <laughs> Fight me, you fucker. It's like, no. <laughs> I'll deal with it later. Like, I'm his son and shit. Uh, so as, as you are all arguing and Eddie R and Damien, you're both kind of just stopped by the rest of Cat and Co. and Camrose to try to cool you both down. Uh, Camrose, he eventually looks around. He just, well, you know, I don't really think there's uh, too much else of interest around here. I don't want to touch any of this vile nonsense. So what do you all say? The guy said up above is the storage room. Sounded like he said there's two people up there with a bunch of golems. And we're going to have to possibly sneak by them or kill them all. I don't know. I prefer to sneak by them because I am not trying to fight them. I mean, (laughs) you could, but depending on how strong these golems are, uh, I don't want to risk alerting Vanya of our presence. Do we have an understanding on this? But if we're up there fighting Vayan, because we know it's not going to be a one and done, then they'll come up there while we're fighting her and we can't exactly. focus on her. No, no, I have ways to lock the door. You see. Oh, please. You don't think that she knows everything about this building? I bet she's much stronger than you. You're underestimating her, man. Hey, now. I would say let's split up and some people handle the golems, but that's risky well how about yeah, this let's not do let that. us move up to the next floor and time take a peek and see what we're up against depending on how many workers are really up there we'll determine what we do all right does anyone I, want to take a nap before we go i kind of just want to sneak through i don't i don't feel like killing again okay, can we if we're <laughs> going to take a short nap can we like a rest you know maybe around the fire or something there's no fire here but whatever um we can light the cage on fire um can we put the dead body somewhere it's very disturbing. We could burn it. I don't know why you want to smell that. Yeah, it's going to stink. Shit smell like ham. This is Foam in, tr- this is in the water. Tr- how about how about we dump him in the, the sewage in the last room we just came through? Where yeah, that water that's, elements came that's out. That's a plan. Okay, who's going to do that? I don't want to touch it. I'll do it since I made the mess. Very well. 
I guess we can take in a couple hours. Uh, we really shouldn't be taking a couple hours to rest here, but just if like a you know small rest, like a, a short rest, is what I would call it. Oh, specifically. All right. Well, if we're gonna do that, we I have to deal. make it quick, and we can't stay too long. Because remember, we only have night to do this. This is the last rest we'll be able to get. Mm. Do you want to rest now? This is the last. This is probably the last one we'll have before the. It's the a night good ends. question for Edir. Wait, is the thing with the dagger in it still here? No, the satyr is gone. Left. Oh yeah, that's right. The well, dagger is still there. Yes. Hmm. Well, listen. We'll take a little rest, and then we'll continue up. Uh, this is the last rest we can afford. Time is wasting. So we'll do it. We'll go ahead with a short rest. And uh, after that, we'll uh, continue through this quote-unquote brewery. It's a damn dungeon, if you ask me. Getting a little sassy. We are the leaders of Cat & Co., just so you know. Well, I'm just saying. I have a lot more experiences when it comes to this kind of thing. <clears throat> That's probably true, but we like to be in charge. So Sometimes being in charge is always the best. Now is it, Asundra? I should never be in charge. But... Exactly my thoughts. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and rest up. I'll keep watch of this door to make sure if anyone else is coming. The guy looks like he was on a lunch break or midnight snack break or something. So uh, I'll keep charge of the door. You guys rest up a little bit and we'll get to going. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, we'll All right. do that. And Nomu, toss that damn body over the, over the ledge over there in that last room. Dump it in that water. <laughs> I don't want to see this headless corpse any longer. It's disgusting. And then we do a strength check. How long does it take him to do it? Does he get to even rest? Do a strength check. It shouldn't take that long. It's in the next room over. Damn. Damn. He's dragging him. You're dragging him slowly. Nomo is kind of regretting <laughs> killing him. <laughs> He's like, yeah, she shouldn't have done it. She just killed him. Naito, he just, he pats Nomo on the shoulder. It is okay, Nomo. I am normally against the killing of innocent people, but this man was not innocent. He has proven that he was a monster. Yeah, I, I get that, but I don't know. Something in the back of my head is telling me I shouldn't have. Uh, perhaps next time you attempt to eat kobold, you question yourself more than this man, yes? <laughs> No, no, it just... is fine. You have Napoleon on your side, and he gave me power, so I mean... No one just shakes his head and drags the man by one leg. Maybe you'll be able to Eldritch Blast, I say as you walk out the room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the party, you're able to we'll go ahead and do a short rest. You're able to get a short rest while Camros is watching the door, but this is going to be the last rest you can get while in the brewery. You only have a couple more floors to go. Does that mean um, I can heal? Yes, yeah, so you'll get uh, half, everyone get uh, half HP back. And I get full shit yeah, back. So, and you'll get your, half your spells back. And with that, we'll go ahead and say uh, that'll be it for this episode of Taverns and Caverns. Thank you, everyone. Thanks again, everyone, for listening to another episode of Taverns and Caverns. This is your Dungeon Master, Ryan, at Haphazard DM on Twitter. That's where you can find me. And you can also follow some of our other players. Hi, everybody. I'm Felicia. I play Sundra, and you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Dagger Tribal. And I'm Bri, I play Damien and Desiree. You can follow me at Blaze underscore NBK on Twitter. That's my new name. And Instagram is just Blaze NBK, no space. I'm Julian, uh, also playing Eddie R. You can follow me at JWPlay0 on Twitter or JWPlay0 on YouTube. I'm Robert Jones, and I don't have social media, but I am on YouTube. You can find me at TrueBone, that's T-R-U, Bone. I make simple videos by putting video games to movies. All right. Awesome. Blood and bone. That's all I thought about. <laughs> That's our players. Again, thank you for listening. And you can follow us again on Twitter at Taverns Caverns. Cool. And that's it. See you guys next time. All right. Yeah.